Hey guys, um, I had a retinal detachment in this eye last year on February the 4th. I had surgery and they corrected it with a gas bubble. Um, they take you to surgery and they put a gas bubble in your eye and you have to sleep with your head positioned a certain kind of way. Um, I had to sleep setting up um, for 12 days and my bubble was gone and I could see fine. Uh, each day that the bubble went down, I could see over the bubble and it was clear, perfect vision. So after 12 days, I could see again. And um, it's about a year healing, they say, complete healing. Um, okay, that one got well and did great. Okay, a year later, um, here we go again with this eye. Okay, so I go on, um, well, actually, I, it happened on December 2nd. I went to the doctor on December the 3rd, and yes, it was a retinal detachment, and then I got the COVID and was very sick on the 4th, so the surgery couldn't be done. Um, now, had they done the surgery the day before as an emergency surgery like they did this one, it would have been done before I got sick, but anyway, um, I had to wait. And so I was blind in my right eye until January the 12th. Uh, I went to surgery and they put in a, another gas bubble in this eye like they did this eye. And um, that was January the 12th. Um, around February the 5th or 6th, it detached again. So I went back to um, the doctor and they did surgery on my eye. That was on February the 8th and they did surgery on my eye. February the 9th of this year. Um, everything was fine after surgery. Of course, I can't see. Uh, this time he did a scleral buckle with um, silicone oil in my eye instead of the gas bubble. So everything's real blurry. My eyes real bloodshot. I don't know if you can see it or not. And it still swelled a lot. Anyway, um, they did a scleral buckle on it. And um, I was told there wouldn't be no pain or nothing, but it has really hurt um, ever since the day after surgery. Um, it's really been painful for me. I don't know about anybody else that had it done, but if you have a scurial buckle, um, hopefully you won't have pain like I've had. Uh, my eyes swelled shut still, mostly. I've had severe pain for eight days. This is day nine. Um since the surgery, since the day of surgery. I uh, still can't see. I go back to the doctor Friday, the 18th, to see where we're at. Um, as of right now, it's still very blurry. He said it will be. He said he has to leave the oil in for three months, and then he will take the oil out, and we'll see where we're at. Hopefully, I'll be able to see. Um, if you're having to have this done, God bless you. I'm sorry. Um, I hope everything goes well for you. Um, for me, this has been very painful, um, very much suffering. So hopefully you won't have that, and I'll update again after I go to the doctor Friday and let you guys know what, what they said. Uh, thank you for listening, and please pray for me. This has been a, a very much suffering journey. Um, thank you, and how do you have one happen in this eye, February 4th of 2021, and this eye in February of 2022? It's crazy, y'all. Even my doctor said that. Okay, um, God bless you and thank you and um, have a great day.